In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really awesome text animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So to begin with, we want to start off by creating a template. So we'll go to the type tool, type in your video and type out a word or phrase of your choice. Then we'll go to the effect controls window. We'll go into the text window and feel free to make your changes. So I'm going to change my font to monster at. I'm going to increase the font. I'm going to center align this. And then I'm just going to change the color to, we'll go for maybe a blue. It doesn't matter because this layer is going to be deleted. This is just a placeholder or a template. You just want this to be a little bit different to the actual text animation. Then you can center this up, do what you want to do here. But once you're happy with the look of that, you can just extend the duration of this out and we can copy this layer. So we'll go Command C, Command V. That is on Mac. If you're on Windows, that is Control C, Control V. Then we'll lock the template layer. So video layer one, go to video layer two and we'll delete everything except for the first character. So that is the B. Then you just want to change the fill to white. And now you can see the white text is what we're going to animate and the blue text is just the template. It's so that we can align everything later on. Now with this first letter created, this first character created, we want to go into motion and we want to change the anchor point to the very left of the text. And then you also want to move it down a little bit just to make sure that it is centered up. Now from here, we just want to move that text on top of the template. Then we'll go to the beginning. We'll go maybe 10 frames to the right, something like that. We'll go to scale, deselect uniform scale. We'll go to scale width and create a brand new keyframe on the scale width. Then we'll go three frames to the left. We'll increase the scale width. And then we'll go maybe four or five keyframes to the left and we'll pull that down to zero. So we end up with this bouncing effect. And that is essentially the effect complete. We just need to copy and paste this over and over again until we've got every single character. So rather than doing Command C, Command V, I'm actually going to hold Option on my keyboard and drag B up to make a copy that way. I believe on Windows that is Alt. So hold Alt and drag this up and then release. Then I'm going to change this character to R. Or we'll drag the position of R over to the right. And now when we play this back, you'll see we've got those both letters now animating in. So just repeat this process for every single character that you have. And once you've done that, if we play this back, you'll notice this is how this now looks. So they're all animating on, but they are animating on at the same time, which is not what we want. We want these to stagger on. So we're just going to go to the beginning. We're going to go three frames to the right and move R over three again and move O over. And again, just keep working through this process, repeating what we are doing. So three frames over and then move to the cursor. Now we end up with this. So at this moment in time, we could actually get rid of the template because we've now done what we needed it to do. So we can turn that off, play this back. And this is the text animation. It looks really cool. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually add some drop shadow onto each letter. But to do that, we're going to have to swap these around. So B is going to have to be at the top and then the last letter is going to have to be at the end. So we're just going to have to swap the order of this all around. Making sure that the first character is at the top and the last character is at the bottom. So we end up with this. Now we'll go to effects and search for drop shadow. Drop that on to the first character. So that is the B. Now in drop shadow, you want to pull the opacity up to 100%. Then we'll increase the distance until we start to see it. But if you can't see it, then just increase the direction and pull that to 90 degrees. Then you can pull the distance back a little bit and increase the softness. So as you can see, we're getting this nice shadow appearing on the R from the B. Then we're going to copy drop shadow and we're going to paste it onto all of these letters. And you can see now we've got the drop shadow appearing over the next character. Of course, as well, if you wanted to, you could compress these so they overlap a little bit more. And when I say that, I just mean move the position over like this so that they're almost on top of each other. And then you really see that drop shadow effect happening. But from there, what we'll do is just highlight all of those letters, right click and select nest. Press OK. You can rename that if you want to, but I'm going to be lazy. 
And now this is all in its own nested sequence. So we can affect the scale. We can move it into the corner and this is going to create a cool lower third. Or alternatively, we could create a brand new keyframe on the scale at the beginning. Then move over in time, increase the scale. And you can see we get a nice scale in animation. There's loads that we can do, but by placing all of these into a nested sequence, it means we can affect everything, can animate everything all at the same time. So that is this really awesome text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, now complete. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.